hi welcome to our channel hope you guys are doing well namaskaram from my people from the indias today i'm taking a video for from from uh, sadhguruji this video he is talking about uh, the depth of indian culture which you can see in our titles so as usual sadhguru the way he talk the way he explain things uh, we do not read that in our books we we do hear from people but the explanation given by them and explanation given by sadhguru there's a lot more difference which comes from his uh, inner experience and uh, which is very much useful right now this video is talking about the the indian culture uh, which will help us to know uh, what exactly it is we only know when we complete this video and i don't know uh, basically how he's going to reply and what is the basic question but the title is the depth of indian culture so let's not uh, wait any more watch together then we will have our comments and our teachings that we what we have learned we will share it there at the go namaskaram sadguru okay basically the question uh, uh, about know the indian culture how to bring back of this <coughs> culture how to bring back the pride sadhguru okay uh, i think one thing we have to do is write a more rewrite a more responsible history of what has happened in this land for a long time not in the last 3000 years not in the 1400 years what people in this land have done for a long time has to be brought back in other countries people are studying this if you go to there are lebanese people if you if you study in a school in lebanon you will read about how indian workers oh, indian sculptors indian elephants But indian yogis came and built a phoenician temple 4300 years ago in lebanon which is called as balbek which is a phenomenal temple 4300 years ago some of the foundation stones are over 300 tons and there is no granite in lebanon they transported it all the way from egypt across the canal and up the mountain and put it up there indian elephants workers and sculptors worked the proof there is enough proof but one proof is visually hanging there is lotuses in the ceiling indian sculptor has to put a lotus wherever he goes where would a lebanese sculptor have seen a lotus obviously there are no lotuses there so how many indian children have forget about children how many indian grown ups have heard about this no the tamil kings went and built angkor thom and angkor wat in cambodia angkor thom is the largest religious building on this planet the intricacy and the engineering the sheer design and engineering of how these temples are built if you go and see you will feel proud of being a human being because if human beings can think something like this a thousand years ago and manifest it it is too much this was done by the tamil kings most of the work done by probably the tamil labor from first standard to 12th standard does any tamil child even read a line about this in their history book no we only read how we were conquered raped looted beaten by other people then if there is no pride why would you want to recreate it you need to understand this a culture or a nation is just an idea when human beings attach take this on as an identity attach some pride to it it burns through one's mind and into his heart now he wants to protect it raise it keep it clean keep it wonderful if you do not build pride into it okay uh, then just let me share with you the satguru ji has mentioned the temple in lebanon which actually i also didn't know and uh, the temple they talk about uh, in cambodia they call it angkor wat and also called a ruin temple actually it's a very uh, i have been there so uh, it's it's a very nice temple 
and a very huge actually. They also call it a Ryun Temple. Now it's actually already Ryun, but you still can see. And it's also called Seven Wonder of the World. It's really a beautiful, very large, if you if you really sit down and think how these people, not in the modern science where you have a lot of instruments, technology, this is built by those years where you don't have this kind of um, technology. Everything was a home, uh, man-made, uh, the labor, everything is you have to carry up. The stores that they're using it, you, it, wow. You can Google and check the Angkor Wat Temple. It's really a fine piece of work and uh, it is done by Tamil King. Wow, it is something um, what Sadhguru said, uh, I think not many people know. So uh, we're glad that we know about it. I'm sure you also uh, will be surprised that that is done by the Indian. Even there's one more temple, uh, which is in uh, Jogjakarta, Indonesia, called uh, Bura, uh, Buddha Bora, something like that. So that is also a very uh, fine work. It's a very huge temple. And also, wow, great. So let's listen again what Sadhguru says furthermore. Okay, continue. People will want to avoid it. Everybody will want to avoid it. Now, whatever you think is most successful in the world, you will want to imitate that. Today, our idea of success has become purely economic, not aesthetic, not… it is not intelligence that we value, it is not wisdom that we value, it is not beauty or aesthetics that we value, it is not spiritual attainments that we value. Who is the big man in Coimbatore, if I ask? People will only name the richest man in the town. They will not w name the wisest man in town, the most beautiful man in town, most meditative man in town. No, the richest man in town is the biggest man. So who is the biggest whatever? Whichever is the richest nation, whichever is the richest culture, power and money have become the highest goals, which itself is a very rudimentary way of looking at life. Because of that, right now uh, I promised the American meditators, next two years I'm going to invest a lot of time in the United States because knowingly or unknowingly they have taken on the leadership in the world. In a sense, see, if all the American people wear blue workman's clothes, half the world is wearing Americans' workman's clothes. You just go to any city, Mumbai or Chennai or Bangalore especially, you look down below the knees, more than sixty percent is wearing blue denims. When we have the most intricate weaves, there are over hundred and twenty weaves in the country which are unique and many of them are dying. No other culture on the planet has the variety of weaves that India has. All of them will die, Chinese silk is going to kill it unless all of you ladies make at least twenty percent of your wardrobe into handmade Indian weaves, they will all vanish in the next ten, fifteen years. <clears throat> Why is everybody wearing not even American executive's clothes, American workman's clothes? That, as if that's not enough, if they tear their trousers, everybody tears their trousers. <laughs> yes, it's all torn, but in a very expensive way. <laughs> now, if Americans put carbon dioxide in a bottle and drink it, Even a kindergarten child knows human body needs oxygen, not carbon dioxide. But because America drinks carbon dioxide and says this is the real thing, more than half the world drinks carbon dioxide, you know, carbonated water today. If you go to one of the remote villages here, there may be people, not in this area maybe, but anywhere else if you go, they might not have heard the word yoga, but they know what is Coca-Cola. Okay? So, I thought if Americans tear their trousers, everybody tears, Americans wear their pants down in their seat, everybody does the same thing, Americans drink carbon dioxide, everybody does that. So I thought if we can get America to meditate, 
the world will merit it. <laughs> so, we are doing a little bit of a big push in the next two years in United States. We want America to meditate. <laughs> They're kind of getting ready, they're tired of the carbonated water, okay. Wow! So this was the beautiful video as usual. Sadhguru really is a very wise man. The way he look at the things and the way he uh, explain it is very different. We, the temple part which was very beautiful and which is very true, I know it, it hurts but it's very beautiful way of telling people that, um, yeah, we are not recognizing the, the history, we are not um, teaching children, uh, even the adults in, in, in our colleges, schools and universities, so there's no pride. The way he explained this, it makes sense. And then he moved towards the US, why? It also refers the leadership does matter. So the same thing, who can change the history? Uh, I mean, not to say change, just bring back the right right things for the children and people to feel proud about it. It's a leadership, leadership of the country. It was their job to do it, but uh, they didn't do it. And that's that's how uh, how many of you are proud of it. Uh, about you, sometimes you are shy, you know, a lot of people ask you, you have so many gods, you have so many tribes, you have, uh, if you look at the, the international media, there's a lot of shame that they bring for Indian peoples and which some, somehow you cannot explain or uh, some even can explain, people don't really um, satisfy with explanation. So it's all because of the not having a clearance, not having a clear uh, mind, clear uh, teaching that supposed to happen long way ago. But anyway, then Sadhguru moved to the US because uh, he was talking about the leadership and uh, which is US, uh, yes, you all know that uh, US is an uh, economy hub and it's also uh, quite number one in the, in the economy. Of course, now the things are changing, this video is quite old also, so other countries are taking over, but at the yet, America is still a leader. So he's talking about the, the denim, denim the, the, the type of jeans that you wear, you know. It was for those workers in US, they used to wear because uh, it's absorbed the sweat and all that. And they used to wear to work. At the end that become fashion. And then he talked about the, the Coca-Cola, which uh, has a carbohydrate, which uh, I think is not uh, healthy. But yet we all are drinking and we drink with a very pride. Um, Recently, people are understanding not to having a canned drinks, but if you look at the 10 years or 15 years, people feel very proud to drink Coca-Cola in a can. So it was like a fashion. Uh, so that's what Guru saying. Sadhguru is saying that um, if the leaders does do the right things, then it brings the right things for the people. Wow. Well said, Guruji. <clears throat> the way you explain the simple, simple things, but that effect, if we understand the effect of those words up largely is very good. Okay, I'm really, uh, really, really satisfied what I, uh, what I heard just now. Hope you guys have some clarity about India, India culture, because if you look at the years, not about a 300 years, the uh, other day my, one of my friends was telling, India was one of those countries where even other people from other countries used to come and study and they look for this country, India. There's a lot of, uh, one of the oldest universities, Nalanda and Taxila, people from other countries used to come and study in India. Those were the days. A uh, lot more stories, but we all lost it. Lost it because of the, the, the colonization and in, people invade. So, yeah, but hopefully things can change back if you have a right leadership uh, can bring back. Hopefully anybody who listens, anybody who can bring some changes. But anyway, till that, take care. Bye-bye. We will come back again with another video. Okay, bye-bye.